Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to come back and share with you all Drive Change by Changing Your Drive. Um, if you have not purchased this book, I want you to consider purchasing Good to Great in God's Eyes, 10 Practices Great Christians Have in Common by Chip Ingram. Focus activities to consider. Read through Romans 8 several times. Spend time dwelling on this great chapter and focus on the blessings that are yours in Christ. Set aside some time this week to focus on creation by spending time alone. Maybe you can take a walk in the park, ride your bike, or sit outside and gaze at the stars. During this time, just let the majesty of God's creation remind you of God's greatness. Pursue great people. Ask yourself, other than Jesus, if I could spend time with someone in the Bible, who would it be? Why? Um, for me, if I could spend time with someone other than Jesus, I would choose David, because David is the true example of faith over fear. What are some reasons God puts great people in our lives? To learn from them, to be poured into, to learn how to pour into others, how to always have a trusted confidant. Something to think about. Exodus 33 and 11 says, and God spoke with Moses face to face as neighbors speak to one another. When he would return to the camp, his attendant, the young man Joshua, stayed. He didn't leave the tent. When someone speaks face to face with us, we must be attentive to what is being said and listen when we pursue great people. A master ceiling can become his disciple's floor if the disciple knows how to absorb the life lessons of the master. God has ordained relationships as the primary medium for learning. Critical lenses. A simple fact of human nature is that we will begin to take on the attributes of the people we spend the most time with. Wow. Who are your friends? You become who you hang with. Do you agree with the assertion that you become who you hang with? You, you agree? Mm -hmm. okay. Who are you cultivating relationships and friendships with? Remember what I said last week. Reverend Charles T. Smith said, you can't go everywhere and you can't do everything that the crowd does. Look back in the rear view mirror of life. You get a glimpse of your individual needs and start to understand the kind of people you need to have in your life in the future. How do you know which great people to pursue? You know right from wrong. You know if God, your parents, or your mentors approve of the people you are pursuing. Think of four or five people that have most positively impacted your life. These people will become your Mount Rushmore. These are the people you'll always remember because they inspired you and taught you about life. As you reflect on these people, memorize, as you reflect on these people, memories will be stirred up of the lessons they taught you and you'll see clearly where they left off. Some people are, some people are for a season and others are for a lifetime and where you need to find new great people to pursue. And I'll say that again. Some people are for a season and others are for a lifetime. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20 says, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffer harm. 
The message version says, become wise by walking with the wise, hanging out with fools and watch your life fall into pieces. Um, one of the mentors talked about that yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. I think his name is Ron, Mr. Ron. Mr. Ron. Yeah. Mr. Ron talked about that yesterday. He said, if we went to the prison, people would tell us a million and one stories why when they were rocking with the crowd, how they ended up in prison. Now it's time to look out the windshield. When you look in the rear view mirror and reflect it on your Mount Rushmore of great influences, you have a better idea of whom to pursue next. Everyone needs a Paul, a Timothy, and Barnabas in their life. You're Paul, Timothy, and Barnabas. Paul to learn from as a mentor and role model. Who could be or who is your Paul? The person who serves as a mentor or role model. What do you need to do to pursue that relationship? Timothy to sow seeds into the next generation with teaching and encouragement. Who is or could be your Timothy? The younger person you can invest in. Barnabas, to completely and totally open with an encouraging friend who will go through life with you, through the good times and the heartache. Who is or could be your Barnabas to you? The person who you can totally open with and is an encouragement in your life. In order to pursue great people, you need to pray earnestly. Ask God to put people around you who can fulfill starting your own relationship network. Most of the people, of, most people God wants to use in your life are already there. This is so true. Ask for help. No one grows spiritually or any other way without needing advice. Persevere. Give great relationships time and keep trying to build the relationships up. Get creative. Some will, some will not be accessible all of the time. Some may have lived before you were born, and some may have died along the way. Make time in your schedule. Live out this week. Make it a point this week to get in touch with someone who has positively impacted your life and express your appreciation to them. Memorize 2 Timothy 2 and 2. Things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Now, may God bless you and may God keep you all of this week. Peace and harmony.